Hi, how are you? What's going on? Hey, I'm good, but I've got a problem with my cows. I just arrived at my farm and I've seen one dead cow. One dead cow? When was he born? I don't know, I found him this morning. So I think it happened during the night, but I didn't expect it delivery before three weeks. Is it normal? Is it smaller than usual? Do you think he has any malformation? No, it's pretty normal, but maybe you can have a look. Okay, don't worry, I'll be there in a few minutes. But until then, take him away from the rest of your cows. I remember you told me at the farm that you didn't expect any birth for tonight, so did you notice any loss of fertility? No, anything. Uh, normally my cows get pregnant easily. Okay, so that's a good thing. But first, I have to realize the necropsy of the dead calf. Okay, and you have to know that I'm worried about uh, getting my B3 and 3 qualification about brucellosis. Okay, so don't worry. First, I have to confirm on the presence of brucella in your lifestyle. And then I have to think about all the diseases which can match with abortion. All the diseases? In which one are you thinking? Well, I am thinking about parasites as Neospora, or bacteria as Listeria, Campylobacter, or Truparella, but also in a virus such as Herpes virus or BVD complex. Okay, and what about brucella? I don't know anything about the disease. Can it be this? It can be this, but it's pretty unusual. If you want, just have a look at this video and you will understand easier. Brucella is a gram-negative bacteria very resistant in the environment, which affect cattle after oral or genital contamination. Inside the cow, those bacteria first replicate themselves in regional lymph nodes inside professional phagocytic cells. Bacteriemia leads to the colonization of other organs as lungs and joints, but the bacteria get special affinity for the reproductive tract. In bulls, the most significant lesion is orchitis, but you can also observe seminal vesiculitis, epididymitis, and fibrosis of the testicular parenchyma, which will cause impairment of semen production and partial or permanent infertility. In the uterus of the cow, pregnancy structure, the placentum, will is erythritol, a sugar alcohol that acts as a chemoattractant for the brucellus. This substance leads the bacteria to the reproductive tract and provides a secondary replication in fetal trophoblast cells and endometrial epithelium, inducing placentitis and fetal distress, which can result in fetal death and abortion. The replication of brucellus is a complex process and it's not well explained yet by a scientific community. Basically, the attachment of the bacteria to the epithelial cells induces cytoskeletal changes and allows brucellus internalization a few minutes after interaction. In mononuclear phagocytic cells, the internalization creates a brucella containing vacuole or BCV, also known as brucellosome. This new compartment prevents fusion with the lysosomal structure because it shows endoplasmic reticulum markers presentation. Single BCVs can also merge to form a bigger compartment where brucellas can replicate themselves before being released in the extracellular space. Inside those BCVs, the bacteria is unnoticed by the innate system because it prevents activation with many mechanisms, such as suppression of pro-inflammatory mediator transcription, inhibition of dead cell maturation, cytokine secretion, and antigen presentation.
how are you? Fine. Thank you. Okay, good news for you. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, tell me the whole story. How did you do? Well... So, I used blood sample to extract the serum and screen for brucellosis with the rose bingo plate agglutination test, and it results negative for the presence of the bacteria. Analysis of stomach contained results negative to the presence of listeria and didn't show any fungi fee. I took the uterine discharge in the placenta to inoculate blood agar. After 48 hours of incubation, I picked up some pinpoint colonies with complete hemolysis to carry out gram staining and routine biochemical tests. The gram staining revealed gram-positive small curved roads and the biochemical results correspond to characters of Truperella pyogenes. So, I did not expect it. So, it was only a sporadic abortion? Yeah, it was due to an opportunistic pathogen. You will go to B for free qualification. Oh, great, thank you. Mm -hmm.